for real. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dark and Lovely, and today I will be bringing you something I ain't brought to y'all in a cool little hot minute. And that is a fabric haul. Now, this one's not crazy big, but it's the, uh, I ain't brought this lot, uh, this much fabric in a minute. So I'ma share it with you guys. Um, this is uh, basically a summertime hot up in her fabric haul. These are all lightweights. I brought one medium weight fabric and that is it there. So without further ado, let's get in to this. Now all the fabric that I will be showing you, of course, is all being brought to you by me, by my own money. But I always buy all my fabric from the fashion district down in Los Angeles, California. I've only bought fabric from one place online and that is Girl Charlie Fabric. Um, I've had good success with them in purchasing fabric. They it's always come fast and um, in a hurry, and they always have like really good sales. So um, I ride with them. So if it's not downtown, it's from Girl um, Charlie Girl Fabric, Girl Charlie Fabric, or whatever. Okay, so let's get into it. So the first fabric that I will be bringing to you is this beautiful fabric here. And it's probably gonna look really ugly up against this white background, but I absolutely love this fabric. Like it's very simple, it's actually upside down right now. It's very simple. It's a lightweight cotton. And it has stretch. So I'm excited about that. What am I gonna make with this? I have no idea. It'll probably be like either a beach cover up are like a hoochie mama dress <laughs> no it'll probably be like a, a cardigan um or something like that um and i got two yards of this so yes i really really like this fabric i'm excited to work with it now the other fabric i picked up is this beautiful fabric here i absolutely love this print it's like an aztec -y, uh, kind of print and I like the blue because it's very like royal it's very rich like the blue is very rich I don't know if the camera's giving it justice it may be dumbing it dimming it down a little bit but yeah what am I gonna make with this why you ask me questions I don't know I literally buy fabric because I like it I never specifically have anything in mind when I purchase stuff a little bit this time, but not so much when I go and buy fabric. And I always buy two fabrics, two yards of fabric. I should always be buying at least three because of my height. But I just don't feel like it. I just buy two and then once I need more than two yards, I have to go back downtown and get some more. And when I don't have it, I'm pissed. <laughs> but yes, that's this one. This is a chiffon polyester mix. It's very lightweight very movable very breathable so that's that one two yards to that this next one if you saw my summertime brunch outfit of the day you saw this shirt that I had and I absolutely love that shirt and when I saw this fabric this fabric right here this beautiful lightweight chiffon polyester with stretch I was like, oh my God. So when I saw this, I had plans, I have plans to recreate another shirt like that because I like that shirt so much because it was breathable. I didn't have that weird, awkward boob um, kind of like gap. It was just stretching around my boobs and I absolutely love that. So I love this color. Actually, when I was in underneath the fluorescent lights, I thought this was like a navy blue, but it's actually like this really cute forest dark green in which I like because the other shirt I already have is like a blue so I'm glad that this one's green so yes I will be recreating that and don't trip everything that I will be making with these fabrics that I'm showing you I will hopefully be shooting a video for okay this next one's really simple I got this royal um, not this royal blue yeah it's like a it's, like, it's I'm sorry not royal blue it's like a navy blue but it's really blue like I don't know how to describe it but it's just a lightweight knit nothing like 
crazy. I don't know what was going on with me, but this day I was feeling navy blue because I picked up a lot of navy blue. I would have to say 75% of the fabric I'm showing you today is navy blue or has some kind of blue cousin up in it. But yeah, this one's really lightweight. I don't know what I'm going to make with this. I specifically kind of low-key picked this up for... Um, chocolate dress is not really sure she wants a cocoon dress we'll see if i make her one but yes very lightweight very flowy if you make a cocoon dress with this this is a knit you will get drape like no other boo boo it's gonna be beautiful now when i saw this one i was like oh my god like i i like this i like this i like this a lot because this is a rayon but I love the acid wash color of this. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, if it's picking up on camera, but let me see if I can like get this out so you can see it. So like, yeah, like I like this. I like this because it's simple, but at the same time, it's like very bomb. <laughs> if I had to search for a word, it'd be bomb. Like the whole fabric the whole print is that but then at the end on the edging it has this really cool ending where it's like flowers and like i don't know but i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it but yes and i got three yards of this one and this is a lightweight rayon it's very lightweight um when i saw this i already knew that i was probably going to make a cocoon dress are something of that sort. So I on off top picked up three yards of that. Another one I picked up was this uh, lightweight um, chiffon rayon polyester mix. <laughs> Don't get me to start lying. Like I know my um, my fabrics to a certain extent. But this is for sure polyester, no stretch, so it doesn't have um, any spandex in it. But this is for sure um, some kind of polyester um, rayon. But this is the print. Um, I feel like low key, a lot of people say I have like granny taste when it comes to certain things. And I'm just like, why are you hating on me? I feel like this is really pretty. Like these as some little pants. Don't tell me that you wouldn't see these in Forever 21. Some pants like this and they be coming to charge you like on a good day if it's on sale, $10. This was $2 a yard. This is a $2 pair of pants. And I only got two yards, $4, sorry. $4 pair of pants, I got two yards. Two yards can make me a pair of pants, a nice pair of pants. So I think I might make that, I'm not really sure. But yeah, just something really really lightweight something i could probably just throw on make a little run really quick <sighs> got all stuck in between my toes okay this one i picked up this is the one i picked up the most of this is definitely a spandex polyester mix because it does have stretch um it has like a ribbed knit kind of feel to it um I'm thinking about making like a professional, like a little, like Hillary Clinton two-piece, uh, like a jacket and some and some pants. I'm not really sure. I really liked it. I really liked the color. Um, it it's yeah. It's not nothing like fancy. It's just I like the the texture on it. It has like a ribbed knit kind of texture on it. And I did get a whopping four yard to that. And when you go downtown. And I had already bought like $30 worth of fabric and I was searching, I was looking and I asked him about that and he's like, oh, I give it to you for $2 a yard. I was like, cool. Because once they see you start buying stuff and they know you about that fabric life, they'll start giving you little hookups, you know, here and there. Um, besides the only the other bright color I bought, I bought this one. This is a lightweight knit once again. I love this color. It's kind of like a, a salmon-y baby pink color. It has like this cool little texture in it, like little fuzzball sweatpants kind of texture. I don't know if I'm describing that right, but I really like this color. I got two yards of this. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna make. 
I'll probably just end up making like a cute little dress or something. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. But once again, I will be bringing out videos of all that. Now when I saw this, I was like, oh girl, you so nasty. I was like, if my body wasn't 10 pounds heavier, I would make a bodysuit out of this. I see y'all. I, I could see y'all. I could see y'all. Baby, when I saw this, I was like, I want that. I don't know what I'm gonna make. I only got two yards of it because I wasn't really sure because I'm not that girl that's gonna wear this and knowing damn well I'm not supposed to be wearing this. But I did get two yards of this. I'll probably make like a cute little beach cover up. Or right, if I'm feeling real froggy and I lose my little 10 pounds, boo, I'll make a bodysuit out of that. Um, I actually saw a bodysuit that a girl made in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in. Also, don't forget to join my sewing group. I will leave the link down in the description because I'm a part of like probably like 10. 10 or 12 song groups on Facebook, including mine. Um, it's very inspiring, inspirational. I, I love being a part of um, those groups because then you could people show you support and you could show um, your support as well for their, um, you know, garments and their pieces that they do create. Now, once again, a lot of navy. I picked up a lot of navy. Now, a lot may say this is ugly, but I absolutely really like this busy fabrics like this. This is a very simple navy blue. Um, I, I feel like this is one of the, the cheaper qualities. I feel like once, once I wear this, it's gonna stretch out and I feel like that it's not gonna bounce back. Um, I'm not really sure, but that's what happens. That's what you have to be really, um, really cautious of when you're going downtown and you're buying this fabric for really cheap it's not going to be the best quality of fabric so you have to choose very wisely and if you do choose it you just have to make something that you're just either going to wear around the house or it's not going to be part of something that you're making for you know someone but i got two yards of that now when i went i was almost leaving about to put money in the meter and then I saw, I think it's like Fabric Planet. It's like a small little bootleg version of Fabric Planet. They had all of these colors. Now this is a very stiff ass, lightweight cotton. It's like so stiff, like it's ridiculous. But I didn't know what I was gonna make. I didn't know what I was gonna make. I had an idea. I wanted to make like this one piece jumpsuit, but this was like too heavy for me. So I'm or too, too stiff for me. I wanted it a little bit more lighter and more flowy. I'm not really sure maybe once I wash it, it will switch up on me and change. Not really sure, but I got two yards to that. Um, yeah, this is kind of like a, a red salmon-y color. It's like really weird. It's like a weird color. I'm not really sure, but they had so many. They had white, black, purple, yellow. They had so many colors. That's so why I was like undecided. Now, baby, when I saw this color, or when I saw this fabric, I was like, okay, okay, that's it. I'm leaving after this. I'm not buying no more fabric, but then I bought the one I just showed you, so I lied to myself a lot. But baby, when I saw this, when I saw this, do you see this beautiful ass fabric? Like, do you see it? Like, I love the color blocking on this. I love the black with the contrast of this aqua white and the brown. I don't know, it just does it for me. Some people may think this is an ugly ass print, but people be low key hating on me about my taste and saying I have granny taste when it comes to picking up fabric. But every time I pick something and I thought it was granny and I've worn it out, people love it. I get the most compliments on the stuff that people say, oh my God, that's granny, that's granny. So there's always a hater when you're purchasing fabric or people who partake in my fabric shopping, they always call me haters. Or they always call, they're always hating on me, I should say. Hi, hater. But yes, yes. So when you go downtown or when you buy um, when you go to any place, I'm, pr I don't, I'm pretty sure because it just makes sense. So this is just like a whole little fabric buying rule. When you go down and they sell these in panels, right? So I have 
four panels. So they're not going to cut the panel right down the middle. You're going to get a square, okay? So you're going to get a square like that. And they're going to give you two. So I got four panels and it came out to two and a half yards. What am I going to make with this? I have uh, no idea, but baby, let me tell you when I make it, <laughs> you ain't going to be able to tell me nothing. Now, going back to people calling my style or my taste in fabric granny. Now, when I originally purchased this one, I'm going to show you. I was like, I don't know. I don't know why I bought so many yards of it. I bought four yards of it. But first of all, I wasn't buying it at that moment in time. That just reminded me. <sighs> Got my receipt tax write off, boo boo. Anyways, when I originally bought this one that I'm about to show you, I was like, eh. And I liked it at that moment in time, but once I got home and I watched it, I was like, what the hell am I gonna make? I feel like it's low key busy and it's not gonna work out. But when I made these little cute ass shorts with these pom poms on the bottom, I was like, come through. Now, I made like a two piece with this, and when I put it on, I felt like low key it was pajama y like. So I was like, eh, yeah. But no, this was the fabric I bought. I absolutely love this fabric, and when I, I had originally bought these pom poms separate from this fabric, and when I put these pom poms on here, I was like, that is genius. They were meant to be. This fabric sat on my table for probably six, seven months and found its home. Um, if you guys would like to see me recreate this two piece, I probably, because I, I made it and it was just literally just a test run. That's what happens when you lay your fabric down, you lay it out on a table or on the floor, wherever you're cutting it at, and you just start cutting it. I made them too big. Um, they're comfy. But one thing I don't like because my thighs do rub together is that these pom-poms stop rubbing in between my thighs. So I do not like that. So I'll probably just end up making a dress. So if you guys would like to see me recreate a cute little baby doll, you know, baby doll style dress um, out of this fabric with these pom-poms at the bottom, don't forget, leave it down below or just like this video up and I'll bring that forth to you guys. But I uh, absolutely loved that fabric. So that's it guys. I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I have not forgotten about you guys. I passed 10K. We passed 10K a really long time ago. But I just, you know, this YouTube thing is not easy. And I just wasn't in the right state of mind. But um, I'm going to really put it together and start saving for my next, you know, milestone of, you know, subscriber reaching. I definitely will be given stuff away so don't trip i do appreciate you guys because without you there is no me i do this because i like doing it and i love sharing things that i'm creating or i'm coming with, up with or things that are on my mind or you know things that i'm passionate about i love filming it and sharing it with you guys so i just hope you guys can appreciate that i appreciate you i think that's it I'm baking up underneath this lights, but it's for you and you and you and you and you. Okay. Also, don't come for me on my nails. I'm about to do them right now. I really just need to just shoot this video. This is my third time shooting this video because the first time it was just greasy. The second time I wasn't in focus. This third time viewfinder, I better be in focus. <laughs> I know that much because I'm not shooting this video again. I will be uploading every Wednesday because I feel like that schedule works for me right now. So I think that's it. Also comment down below if you would like to see me create anything out of these fabrics that I show you. Any ideas, leave them down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I am on the Snap Chisel now so you can kind of see my in-between life in between my videos in between if you follow me on instagram i don't always post on instagram but i do try and post every day on the snap chisel so please follow me on there so i can interact with you guys i never did like an about me video because 
honestly no one's never asked me to do an about me video but I guess you can get to know me a little bit more through you know my snapchat and how funny me you know and charismatic I am you know <laughs> yeah so um that's it don't forget to like subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next one bye